why should elders in our community get the vaccine? One of the things we discovered at the beginning of the pandemic was that there were certain groups of people who were at greater risk for bad outcomes, either death or very serious illness or even complications that last for a long period of time. And the persons who were at greatest risk were people who were elderly, individuals who were over 70 or 75. That's also true for people who had respiratory illnesses, people who have, have uh, diabetes, people who are obese, people who smoke cigarettes, a whole variety of people who are at greater risk. And so the decision was made when the vaccines became available that we should give the, vi the vaccine to those persons who are at greatest risk first. Now, another group of people who are at greatest risk are healthcare workers. And so people, not only doctors and nurses, but anyone who works uh, in hospitals and has contact with people who have COVID-19 uh, in in, to treat them. And so that's one of the reasons why uh, in most states, those individuals were received the vaccine uh, first as well. So that's a good public health approach to identify people who are at greatest risk and then make sure that we vaccinate them first. In some states you're seeing now that um, uh, restaurant workers, cab drivers, police, teachers, a whole variety of individuals are moving into the category where they should uh, be vaccinated. However, eventually, everybody needs to receive the vaccine. Everybody. And so, uh, and that's going to happen as more and more vaccine platforms roll out.